What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. If you're new to this channel or you have been watching my videos without subscribing, which is very painful, kindly make sure you subscribe, road to 30k subscribers and all. Anyway, do you know that your Wi-Fi provider or even your next door neighbor can actually monitor whatever you are doing? Now, your Wi-Fi provider can actually check your browsing history, whatever you have been browsing online. Now, Here's my point. There's this video I came across online and there was this guy explaining how he got just to realize that his friend was actually spying on him through the same Wi-Fi connection that he was using. So he went to visit his friend. Then the friend told him, okay, I have some Wi-Fi. I can give you the password. And he was using his Wi-Fi from that day. So whatever he was browsing online, his friend has the information because he could monitor any activity he was browsing from his router. So his friend used to tell him whatever he was doing online, like I know you have been interested in this device for so long, this is your type of girls, this is your type of clothes, this is your type of car, and he was wondering, okay, how do you know all this? And he could also tell him whatever he was planning to buy in future. Okay, I know you saw these sneakers and want to buy this. So he later on get to realize that his friend had actually accessed his browsing information through the Wi-Fi. Now... This is why you should always avoid taking random passwords for any Wi-Fi connections. Now, back to the story of your Wi-Fi provider monitoring your browsing history. So how does this work? Now, in that case whereby the friend could monitor his browsing activity, this is how also your Wi-Fi provider can actually monitor your browsing history. Now, any browsing activity you are doing in your phone, remember this information first of all has to be passed through this router. Now, the router you are using is for your Wi-Fi provider. Even if you delete your browsing history, it still gets stored in that router. So you can actually go ahead, monitor where the IP address and the information that this browsing activity came from. So through your IP address, he knows that you are the one performing this activity, you are the one browsing online. That is why you find that even if people commit maybe crimes online like cyberbullying, they can always be traced. And it can always be traced back to the one who was committing this because the information, even if you delete, still present in the router can be accessed. Now, what can you do to protect your data? Most people believe that turning on incognito mode saves them from this trouble, but actually incognito is not that private. Incognito simply prevents whatever you are browsing from being saved. But while you are still in incognito mode, someone can actually monitor whatever you are doing. And I've mentioned in this video from the start that your neighbor can actually be spying on you. Have you ever maybe used a Wi-Fi that you are sharing with your neighbor, then you notice that his phone keeps popping up on your TV. If you have a smart TV, you see that you want to connect to this phone, maybe Samsung. That is how they can actually connect to your devices and spy on you. But not everybody has this knowledge. For someone to actually monitor your browsing activity, they have to be tech proficient have some IT knowledge and such stuff. But just be careful. So to protect your data, you can try using VPN. Okay, VPN is much private, yeah? But even though it's not actually 100% sure that your information is protected and secured, but VPN protects your data from being leaked, especially maybe by your Wi-Fi provider and your neighbors. So it gives you a sense of security, but your VPN provider can also check your information, but that is for another video. Another thing, I recommend if you have something more private you want to do, maybe just use data, use your mobile data, avoid Wi-Fi, yeah? For maybe your transactions, banking apps, secret passwords or activities you want to do online and you fear that someone may spy on you, avoid Wi-Fi generally. If you are maybe taking Wi-Fi, also ensure that you take from a trusted source, a trusted dealer. Don't just go to a random person who tells you they deal in Wi-Fi and you go ahead and subscribe to their Wi-Fi. That is how you can find your information being leaked out here. So be very careful and keep this in mind. So that is it for today. So for more cool videos and more informative content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Jinani R2 Junior. I'll see you. Peace out.